Okay, so here I'm going to show you the Ultranova editor. To set up the Ultranova with its dedicated editor, connect the synth and open up Live's preferences. Ensure that the Ultranova output sync is on. This ensures that the onboard effects run in sync with the door's BPM. Uh, so set yourself up a MIDI channel and an audio channel and set the monitors to in and drag and drop the Ultranova editor onto the MIDI channel. Now what I'm going to be doing is showing you uh, a very basic patch and setting up something myself here. So I'm going to show you the, the oscillator menu, the filter menu, the modulation menu, effects menu and the animate section as well. So I'm going to load up an init patch here. You'll notice there's a launch librarian button. So click on that and you've got all of your saved patches that you can browse through and you can keep all of your saved patches in order. So in bank D I'm going to select an init patch here. So this is the oscillator menu. You'll notice there's three oscillators here. So I'm going to click onto the waveform and set up a sine wave. You'll notice the, uh, the mixer section here as well. Uh, this allows you to add level of each individual oscillator. And you've also got ring mods one and three, ring mods two and three, and a noise level there as well. So I brought up the levels of oscillators one, two, and three here so you can hear them. So now I'm gonna change this waveform in oscillator two to a digital bell three. You can obviously adjust all of these different parameters here. So I'm gonna add a bit of density detune and density. And in oscillator three, I'm gonna choose one of the many wavetables available. Adjust the pulse width. And virtual sync and add a bit of density detune here. You've got an overall effects level here and an output level as well. Uh, now you can add more voices in the unison section here simply by clicking onto this and moving it upwards. Um, I'm going to be setting up a bass patch so in polyphonic mode of the portamento section here I'm going to set this to monophonic and I'm going to adjust the portamento time. <laughs> Octave lower. In the amp envelope section here, you can adjust the ADSR settings and the attack slope to suit and the decay slope here. You've also got attack track, decay track, sustain rate, and sustain time settings here. Now, in the filter menu, you'll notice there are a number of different routings available bypass quite self-explanatory, single, series, parallel 1 and 2, and drum. So I'm going to be selecting parallel 2, and I'm going to firstly listen to filter 1. So you can click into this window and select different filters as you wish. And you can adjust frequency or resonance, Q, key track, filter envelope amount, drive, the amount of drive, and the type of drive here. So now you'll notice this filter balance wheel here. Um, if I bring this up, you'll then be able to hear filter 2 and the rest of the patch that we've made. This is a filter envelope section here. Again, you can adjust the ADSR settings and the slopes as you wish. So that's the oscillator menu and the filter menu.